question for TLSS. Ooh, I like it, finally. What is an ideal like chart situation where it's gonna get to a level, retest, and then go again? What do you wanna see? When we when we got that gap up right away, in our head we were gonna sell above two. Like all of us were saying that yeah. right away. We were saying, all right, we're gonna try to sell like 205, 206 or something like that. Because we thought once it breaks two, it's gonna go. Now, when it starts to bust up, well, this is where level twos really, really came in. The the two spot had two million sellers, so there was a two million seller sitting at two. So that was like a big, big warning call right away. And then it never really got to that spot. So it never got to two, it touched 199, and then it came back around, and it held nicely of high a day. But the volume, I would say, is the key now. There's not as much volume coming in, you know I mean? If you were watching level twos, I think there was like picks that were like one nine one one nine eight. It was like literally spread like that. Oh. So that means there's not as much volume usually coming in. Yeah. And in that case, we kind of gave it the benefit of the doubt. I would say we gave it 30 minutes. We were a little less patient with this one than most of them. But I would say you would want that hold of one nine, and then you want to see volume when it starts to push back up and test that spot. It actually only ticked to one nine eight. Like that tick right there is not yeah. even testing one nine nine. It ticked 198, and I think it was spread the whole time. So you want you want to see that steady like right, loop back around, and then it goes. And that's the, it looks like it's going to be steady, but then yeah, it I was watching it, and then I didn't sell. Got to 199, and it held that. Um, On the 22nd. The 19. Yeah. yeah. It held the 19. And I was like, all right, I think like the chart, this the yearly chart looked really nice for it to run again, but as you mentioned, the volume wasn't there. So that needs to be my sign when we have all these little small candles to realize. Yeah, the I'm pretty sure. I mean, you're talking about after, you're talking about around like 10 a.m., right? Not, yeah, not after like the, the saying, why real we wide and push. Up and yeah. yeah, no, dude, I mean, we all, we approached it the same way. You, you, that is a good move, but we got the absolute best spot. You know, selling around two was, was good for us. That, that's our goals. So, but most of the people got in maybe 175, 180. I got it on the, five. Yeah, so you know, one nine is is you know only That's ten eight percent. It's still it's not bad, but you know it's good. But we just you know this is what you want to be in. You got the little gap up, right? A little gap up, and then the first three minutes, did, 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 you get the nice. There. You get it was there, right? All right, exactly. that's all fine and dandy. If you have the fifteen close to twenty percent or more at that point, I, you know I would take you know that that's a good spot. There's nothing wrong with taking yeah, five there. Yeah, it was about there, like uh, twelve thirteen percent. Yeah. At that one nine nine level, and it, it got there so quick. I was like, "Oh, yeah. it's so promising! No, exactly. like, it's gonna that's, go." Yeah, and that's okay. And and, but you have to be reactive after that, and that's we approached it the same exact way. It got to that level, and we said, "All right, now that it's seven eight minutes into the open, let's see where it can hold, and if it can get a push past two. And we had, like Mike said, we had our limit set above two two one. I was gonna say, Once it broke it two, we like thought it, it could get a little push, and it then we could no sell it to that. Close. Exactly. We you were in. There's nothing wrong with that. There's there's, you're in prime position. There's, after 10 minutes went by, we watched it for another 10 minutes to say, all right, could it, could it break two? Could it break two? And it really couldn't. There was selling pressure that stepped, the ask kept on going lower. Mm -hmm. And there was, the bids were just sporadic kind of. So that's, we're, we're gonna be cautious with that. We think maybe it could get back to 199, but I don't know if it could really, could break two now that it's getting to almost 10 a.m. So, I mean, that's, that, that was okay for us. We were already around 12, 15% at that point. So 20 minutes in, we felt like it was good enough to take the bag. Take the bag. And just be, be fine with that. This could, have, this could have curled back up and broke two and went to two five in the next 30, but it's okay. You're still hitting a bag. A bag mm -hmm. is a bag, like Mike said in the very very beginning of this webinar. Reward yourself, even if it's, even if it's a small bag. Pass yeah. yourself on the back. That's a sick trade. So we did what we could with this stock. We got the best entry in the afternoon. And you know we gave it some patience to try to run, but when it when it didn't show the right price action, we just moved on with it. And we took our bag, and that's what you got to just do and stick and move with these. I would say also doing it, the big part about it is a hot sector too. If this it like randomly woke up and there was like a hot sector, or like our EV or something was hot, or yeah. the news was out about this, we would have held it. You can it. feel it. It, it was just no news point. about it. Or it this like, is just there's nothing. It was like done. You I just felt it. Be able to visualize it. I was just hoping. Alright, so there we go. So you had an idea, but great question. I that was a great question. That was a great question. So be prepared next time. The real